Hello, America. Stan the Annuity Man. America's annuity agent license in all 50 states, including yours. Before we start talking about inflation annuities, should you address it now or later? Good question. We're going to talk about that in detail. Let's talk about my books. I'd love to send you these books for free. Go to theannuityman.com. I'll ship them in this gold foil mailer and it will be fantastic. You'll be the talk of the neighborhood as the postal delivery person drops it off in your mailbox. So with that being said, let's talk about inflation a little bit. Did you hear that producer when I dropped the books? Did you? Good, okay. If any annuity agent tells you that they have the annuity that addresses inflation, get up, leave the office, either, or if you're on the phone, hang up the phone, or if you're online, just go to another website. There's not an annuity on the planet that perfectly addresses inflation. You already own the best inflation annuity on the planet. I know you're like, I don't own an annuity. Yes, you do. If you're a United States citizen, you own a social security payment called an annuity. Social security, or as they say in the South, social security is an annuity. It's the best inflation annuity on the planet. Why? Because it pays you for life. And the inflation part of that are, are the congressmen, beloved, wonderful, highly rated congressmen and women that decide to increase your payment. That's the best inflation annuity on the planet. So for the rest of your money, when we're talking about inflation, I've got some ideas that we're going to cover on how to address that either right now or down the road, but not until we hear some music now. Okay, so we're talking about inflation annuity. Should you address it now or should you wait and address it later? As I always tell people, there's no perfect answer in the annuity world, just bad sales pitches. I mean, there's no perfect way to address annuities in general and especially with inflation because inflation is like this arbitrary grill in the room. No one really knows what it is and when it's gonna happen and everyone's trying to plan for it. It's like nailing jello to a wall. It's just impossible. So let's talk about why annuity companies have the big buildings for a reason. They have them for a reason. They don't give anything away. So if you want to address inflation contractually, and let's say you're buying an immediate annuity and you want to put a cost of living adjustment rider, C-O-L-A, cost of living adjustment rider, okay? You can dictate at the time of application what you want the income stream to increase by, say by 3% or 2% or 4% or 5%. Now stop for a second, now you're saying to yourself, oh, that sounds fantastic. The income stream's gonna increase by this much every single time. Annuity companies don't give that away. Okay, so if you do that, you know, let's do a visual. Here's the annuity without the cola, same exact annuity, here's the one with a cola. I'm not doing the Madonna Vogue producer, okay? That is the disparity between the income streams. And typically, it's a six to nine year break even point, give or take. Don't email me with, well, mine was 7.4. It just the point is, when you add a cost of living adjustment increase to an annuity, like an immediate annuity, a deferred income annuity, those type of, of pension type annuities, very simplistic, the annuity companies ratchet down the payment. That doesn't mean you shouldn't buy one, but you need to know how they work. And maybe it would work for you, let's just say you had $200,000 and you said, I'm gonna buy one with a cost of living adjustment increase and one without. That would make sense. Is it perfect? No, but that makes sense. You just have to know that they're not giving that away. Now, what drives me crazy in the industry are agents that say, I have the annuity that will increase your income stream with an index. Now, that's an indexed annuity. An index annuity, nothing wrong with them. We use them as a delivery system for income rider guarantees. But how they're improperly sold in the industry there are some indexed annuities that the index call option, I'm not gonna get in the weeds, but whatever that grows at and locks in at for that year, then either all or a portion of that is applied to your income stream as the increase. Now, once again, I gotta stop you from salivating. You go, well, that sounds fantastic. That's fantastic. Every time the index goes up, I get an increase. In my Slow down there, Chester, because they're not giving that away. Just remember this. Always when someone's pitching you the index option, a increase or a cola increase, just do this to him. Just look at the agent and go, hey, just go, hey. And then he's going, what is that? That's the disparity of the income stream because they're not going to give it away. Index annuity companies that have that provision attached to the income writer that increases by the index growth, hey, got it? Hey, I just like doing that, producer. But I'm driving the point home. If it sounds too good to be true, it is every single time with annuities. That doesn't make annuities bad. 
but what it does make them are contracts. Annuities are contracts. If you want to understand how an annuity works and what you're buying, read the contract. And if you want to see it before you even buy, we'll send you a specimen policy. You know, I encourage you, if you get in the weeds of all this, if you're, if you're really thinking about, okay, I want to use annuities to address inflation in addition to my social security as I'm building that income floor, I probably need to talk to Stan to see if there's a customized way to do it. Because we could, you know, there's a, there's a lot of ways to do it. In fact, when I come back, we'll talk about that. All right, so my producers are loving that. Heh. Heh. <laughs> okay, that's the last time I do it. So we're talking about some strategies to address inflation. Now with annuities, once again, they don't perfectly do that, but for inflation in the future, it's best to have income streams starting at different intervals. So what I typically do, if someone is, is saying, okay, I have $300,000 and I'm really concerned about inflation in the future, I don't need the income right now, what we'll do is we'll buy three annuities at the same time and have the income stream starting at different times. Like for instance, if someone's 65, we'll have income starting, we'll do $100,000 in each annuity and then have income starting at 70, 75, and 80. That's really the best way to address inflation, is to have income streams starting at a different time period. Now, is it gonna be more or less than what you need? I don't know that. The other way to do, and I think the best way personally, um, to address inflation. And this drives annuity companies crazy because they want to sell you an annuity right now. But let's, I mean, I'm brutally factual. I'm the walking middle finger of annuity truth. I'm proud of that, okay? I am brutally factual. The best way to do it is when inflation hits, and let's say you have a guaranteed income floor and it's producing, you know, $3,500 between an annuity you have, social security, and a pension and inflation hits and you need an extra $275 a month to fill in that gap for that income floor, that money hitting your account every single month that you and your spouse or partner do not have to worry about. It's that lifestyle money that's coming in every single month. So that gap at that time we solve for by reverse engineering a quote with our annuity calculators for an immediate annuity. So in essence, we're buying an immediate annuity at the time that inflation hits and you need that additional money for that specific amount. And when we reverse engineer, the good news is we're gonna use as little amount of money as humanly possible, contractually possible, because we're gonna quote all carriers. So we're gonna quote all carriers to say, okay, we need this extra 275 per month and the carriers are gonna quote it and we're gonna choose the top rated carrier, you know, the one with good claims paying ability that will require the least amount of money to solve for that contractually. That's kind of a defer to SPIA strategy, which I love, and that is really the purest form and the most efficient form to address inflation. So the question from Chester, my the Chester voice always uses, well, what if inflation hits again? Then we do it again. Then we figure out exactly what the gap's gonna be, and we reverse engineer the quote using our annuity calculators at theannuityman.com, and then we go buy the immediate annuity with the best carrier that we can find by quoting all carriers. It's really that simple. You know, what I encourage you to do is not make annuities complex, because they can be, and agents will make them complex. It's a simple contractual guarantee, and that's the reason I encourage you. If we're talking about, if you're thinking inflation, I encourage you to go to the site and set a time for us to talk one-on-one, -on -one, the annuity man and you, you and the annuity man. Nobody bothering us, just us talking for about 30 minutes about your specific situation. Then I can put together, I'll listen to you, I'll kind of get the details, confidential obviously, and then I'll put together a customized plan that hopefully can address inflation or future inflation to your satisfaction. Hey, I did another video on how to set up your own pension, which is a good video to watch in conjunction with this one because we talk about you know, how to do it for your specific situation, how to reverse engineer the quotes, all that stuff. With that being said, I encourage you to go to theannuityman.com, not just to use our free calculators, but to get my books. You know, give us your physical mailing address, we'll ship them to you in this gold foil mailer. Free of charge, no cost, no obligation, no one's gonna show up at your door or call you. You know, when you work with me, and I hope you will, it's gonna be a professional relationship. We're gonna treat you like a pro. We're not gonna bother you, pester you, high pressure you. We're gonna provide you the best quotes using our proprietary calculators and give you the most information on the planet. I mean, I do these videos every single day, Monday through Friday. I do a podcast every single week. I write every day. There's blogs on the, on the site. There's so much information, newsletters, that you can inform yourself so you can make a really good decision. 
not some sales pitch. Forget the sales pitch. You're buying contracts. You're not buying hopes and dreams. You're not buying unicorns chasing the butterflies. You're buying guarantees for you and your family. Never forget that. Take your time when you do that. There's never an urgency to buy an annuity, just an urgency to fully understand what you're buying. So hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next Stand the Annuity Man video.